Hi friends, good morning. It's Mrs. King from Mary Hill in Nevada. I'm here to do some patterning with you, okay? This week is all about community and we're taking a trip around town um, to visit some different places that we might find, virtually of course. So today we focused on a bakery and we've decided that donuts are a part of a bakery. So today we're going to make patterns um, using some donuts, okay? Now we have some different colored donuts. We have yellow donuts, pink donuts, orange donuts, and probably my favorite, purple donuts. Okay, so we have some plain colored donuts. I also have some sprinkle donuts. We like sprinkles, don't we? Yes, we love sprinkles, okay. So we're going to work on making and creating some simple patterns. I'm going to need your help though, okay? I am going to move my camera so you can kind of see the space down below. Uh, that is where we will work to create our patterns. Um, if you guys have the opportunity at home, I would love for you to create patterns of your own. So you can create anything to use patterns out of. You can create your own donuts if you'd like. Um, you can do any other item that you might find in a bakery. Uh, you can just do anything around your home. So if you have pom-poms, um, you can use those. If you have letter magnets, you can use those. If you have stickers, we've done patterns with stickers. Um, you can make more patterns with stickers. Anything that you have around your home um, to create simple patterns out of, that would be great. Remember, we're working with those A, B, A, B patterns, um, as well as A, B, C, A, B, C patterns, okay? Um, have your mom and dad take pictures of you, videos of you creating your own patterns, and send them on over, okay? All right, let's get started. I'm going to move you on down. Okay, friends. So the first pattern we're going to work with, we're going to just use some of our colors, okay? So we have purple. Have a purple donut, a yellow donut, and orange donut. Okay, so this will be our pattern. We have purple, yellow, orange. Purple, yellow, orange. Purple, yellow, orange. Purple, yellow, orange. Now remember in a pattern, your main your main items will get repeated. So if we repeat it, purple, yellow, orange, what would come next? That's right, you start all the way at the beginning and you add what is at the beginning. So it is purple, okay? Purple, yellow, orange, purple. That's right, go to your next one. It is yellow. Move it up so I can continue our pattern down below. Purple, yellow, orange, purple, yellow, orange. Good job. Let's do it one more time. Purple, yellow, orange, purple, yellow, orange, purple. That's right. Start all the way at the beginning again. Then you go to your next one is yellow. And then your last one in our in our set of three was orange that is right okay purple yellow orange purple yellow orange purple yellow orange very good friends in our pattern we had purple where's purple in spanish morado very good what was yellow in spanish Amarillo, very nice. And orange, anaranjado, very good. Okay, let's put our purple, our yellow, and our orange donuts away. And now we're going to create one using pink and oh, sprinkle donuts. So we're gonna do pink, sprinkle, sprinkle. There's our pattern. There's our set of items that we will repeat. Okay, it's pink, sprinkle, sprinkle. Pink, sprinkle, sprinkle. Pink, sprinkle, sprinkle. Okay, I'm ready to move on. What comes after pink, sprinkle, sprinkle? Pink again, good job. 
then which one? That's right, another sprinkle. We have pink, sprinkle, sprinkle, pink, sprinkle. Are we done? No, we need to finish our pattern. Pink, sprinkle, sprinkle, pink, sprinkle, yellow? No, you guys caught me. Another sprinkle, very good. Pink, sprinkle, sprinkle, pink, sprinkle, sprinkle. If we do it one more time, we would have pink, sprinkle, <gasps> sprinkle. Mm, is anyone else getting hungry? Mm, I sure am, I would like a donut. Okay, there is our pattern. Pink, sprinkle, sprinkle, pink, sprinkle, sprinkle, pink, sprinkle, sprinkle. Very good. Do you think we can get tricky and do something a little harder? Let's try purple, yellow, sprinkle, orange. Oh, now we have a pattern of four different items. Oh no, this looks difficult. Okay, we're gonna work through it together. We have purple, yellow, sprinkle, orange. So now all you do is you repeat it, okay? What comes first? Purple, then yellow, then sprinkle, then orange, okay? If we repeated it another time, what would come first? Purple, yellow, sprinkle, orange, okay? Putting them all underneath each other is a great way to help you create your pattern. Then once they're all underneath, you can move them to be in a row. And this way, you know your pattern would be correct. See, it's the same pattern. Purple, yellow, sprinkle, orange. Purple, yellow, sprinkle, orange. Purple, yellow, sprinkle, orange. Okay? So if it helps you to put them in rows, then do that and then move them aside so that you guys can create your pattern. Okay, I hope you all have fun creating some of our donut patterns with me. Um, I can't wait to, to see your very own patterns that you have created at home. Okay, remember they can be easy, easy, easy patterns. Ask your mom and dad for help if you need those um, that help with your patterning. Okay, I hope everyone is doing well. I hope everyone has had a great weekend and I will see you next time. Bye friends.